Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to slash node.in. After installing Drupal 7, you need to perform some installation configurations on every website that you want to create in Drupal. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how to perform such configurations. And this is applicable to almost every Drupal website. And these are the steps that I recommend you to perform uh, irrespective of the site you are building, whether it whether it is a blog or a company website, or maybe you want to make a shopping website where you are selling the products online. So some steps are required to be done, irrespective of the nature of the website. So in this video, I'll show you uh, how to install admin menu, which is basically a theme independent administrative toolbar and it really makes your job much easier when you are uh, navigating through website or uh, when you are developing and doing a lot of changes in your website so uh, it really gives you a very nice menu for accessing those links uh, in this video i'll also show you how to configure your cron job which is basically required for running some periodic tasks in this video i'll show you how to specify the files directory where you will be storing all your images and anything that you upload to a Drupal website. This is basically done automatically by Drupal. You don't really need to do it. I mean, uh, let us say you want to upload an image through field that uh, you have created in your content type. and uh, uh, the moment you upload any image or a document, it will be stored on the server and this directory will tell Drupal where to store those files and it is very important to specify this files directory and uh, in this video, I will show you how to enable clean URLs which, which is basically required for uh, making your website URL neat and simple. It, it also helps in better search engine optimization. Uh, I'll also cover how to install and configure path auto module, which is basically required for generating the uh, paths automatically. For example, if you if you create a page called as about us. So instead of the default node slash three, which is basically the node ID, you can uh, automatically generate URL like about hyphen us. So uh, all these modules are, uh, I would say, must have modules for uh, for any Drupal website. So uh, let's install uh, these two modules. And uh, first of all, you need to install admin menu and path auto. Now there is also one module called as token module which is basically required by path auto module to work properly. So I'll press enter and I'll wait for it to finish. Oh, sorry. I have forgot to place DL. Okay. So all the three modules are now downloaded to our website. So let's uh, begin the configurations. So uh, I'll go to the module section. The first thing uh, you may want to do is uh, disable the default toolbar that comes with the Drupal 7. So I'll uh, uncheck this and I'll enable admin menu here. I will also enable path auto. Right now I think the to token module is not, dis is not downloaded properly. So oh, I forgot to download to token module. So I'll download it again. In the meantime, I'll save it. I'll come back to this module section again. Okay, so now uh, the token module is now downloaded and uh, I'll enable path auto this time. Now you can see this path auto is ready for uh, us. I'll also enable token module which is required by path auto and I'll save it. Okay, so all the two modules are now enabled. So let me close this overlay screen and uh, I'll wait for it to refresh. Now you can see the default toolbar is gone and uh, now we have uh, this neat 
admin menu which you can see is uh, uh, very useful you can easily navigate through various sections of your website and uh, perform the admin activities so the first thing that uh, i want to show you here is how to configure your cron job so you need to go under configuration and system section and here you can click on the cron as i said earlier this cron uh, job is basically required for performing the uh, periodic tasks like uh, checking for updates or uh, indexing content for search or or a uh, lot of other things and it is really important to uh, run the cron run the cron job re regularly so when you are developing your uh, drupal website uh, you should uh, keep it one hour or maybe three hour uh, it is okay but when you are uh, using uh, a production website when you, when when you have launched your website then in that case maybe you want to run your cron uh, once in a day or maybe two times in that case you can select 12 hours or maybe 6 hours so right now i'll uh, say 3 hours i want to run my cron every 3 hours i'll save it so this is how you can uh, configure your cron job and uh, another thing that you want to do is uh, enable clean urls for your drupal website which really makes your urls short and uh, neat so i'll go under search and metadata and say clean urls so you can see this clean url is automatically enabled for my website because it is dependent on your apache server and uh, let me show you how the urls will look like when you disable them and uh, i'll save it and i'll show you to you, i'll show it to you so now you can see this uh, let me uh, close this overlay section and go back to the home page and let us say if i again go to the clean urls section so now you can notice uh, in the address bar this is really hard to understand and uh, uh, whenever you click on any uh, link everything is every path after the website root is question mark q equal to so which is really uh, difficult to understand by some of the search engines and it is always better to enable clean urls which uh, really uh, is very simple thing to do and most of the web servers these days uh, will allow you to enable it so now you can see uh, the url is much neat and clean and there is no question mark q is equal to uh, in the path and uh, uh, another thing that i wanted to show you in this video is uh, how to specify the files directory okay so for specifying the files directory you can go under media and then file system and uh, here you can see this is the default uh, directory sites slash default slash files and this directory is relative to the drupal root and it is good that that there is something already there and this is okay with me but i am not okay with the temporary directory uh, location that was there uh, before i made this video the directory name was c colon bram slash tmp and i don't want this url to be i, I don't want this directory to be there because if i upload this to my web server then this directory will become invalid because i am using linux hosting for my website and it is not a good practice to you know uh, give the directory name which is not relative to your drupal root so i'll say sites slash default slash files and i'll also enter tmp which is for temp directory and this directory will be used for storing some temporary files and uh, the last thing that i wanted to show you is the path auto module so let me first show you uh, the urls that will be generated when you create a new page so i'll create a new page and i'll name it and uh, i'll save this page now uh, so now you can see this page is saved and the url of this page is uh, 
मोबाइल वाला डॉट इन स्लैश कॉन्टेंट स्लैश वेलकम हाइफन मोबाइल वाला इन सो लेट मी डिसेबल दी पाथ ऑटो मॉड्यूल एंड शो यू हाउ द पाथ विल लुक लाइक Okay, so I have disabled Path Auto module, which I enabled earlier. So now you can see that the path is still the same because uh, it was created earlier. I'll create another page, and I want to name it About Us. So uh, this time the Path Auto module is not enabled. So let me save it and. Uh, let's see how this url will look like so now you can see that uh, the url is not about us it is basically node slash 2 which is uh, uh, not really very understandable so uh, let me enable the module again and i'll show you how to configure the path auto module Okay, so the module path auto is enabled and uh, I'll go to the configuration. Under search and metadata, there is a section called URL aliases. This is basically a place where you can configure your path auto module. And now let me uh, come to the patterns tab here. And here you can specify the de default path that will be generated whenever you create a new content. So uh, in my uh, in my uh, websites, I normally uh, whenever I create a page, I simply want them to be just after my web website URL. In this case, it would be mobilewala.in slash about us slash welcome. So I don't want this content uh, word to be prefixed every time I create a new content. So I'll say for pages, I want to keep it just the title. And this uh, uh, replacement pattern, the no, uh, node colon title is basically the token or you can say a variable that will be replaced by the title of the page. and. Uh, Instead of saying content here, you can uh, replace it with the type of the content that you are creating. So for that, you can check the replacement pattern. And uh, okay, so uh, instead of content, if you want the name of the content type, then you can say uh, you, you can copy this token node colon content type and place it here. So uh, if I now uh, create an article it will be the url will be article slash the name of the node so i'll save it and so i have saved it now let me go to bulk update tab okay i want to bulk update the path that are not aliased earlier i'll say i want to do it for content okay so this will uh, generate the aliases for all the urls uh, let me check what is inside the settings tab here. Okay, so uh, some stuff here, I think uh, I'll leave it as it is. Uh, you, when you are more comfortable with the development of a Drupal website, then maybe you want to change it. But this is not something really difficult. So um, I'll recommend you to check it yourself. There is an option to delete the aliases also. So you can select all aliases or content so I will not delete it right now. Okay, so now you can see the URL of the About Us page is About Us and uh, uh, I hope this video will help you to perform these post installation configurations easily. And thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.